Hey girlies, welcome back to my channel. It's Yashima. If you're new here, I create fashion and lifestyle videos. And in today's video, I'll be sharing my 2024 wish list with you guys. So if you want to see what those are, continue watching. Okay, girlies. So before we get started with our 2024 wish list, if you like these type of videos, definitely consider subscribing, like, comment, share, do all the good things because I would love to have you back. All right, now let's get in to this list first on the list i'm going to start with the luxury category and first up is louis vuitton so i have two items from louis vuitton that i would love to add to my small collection and first up is loafers you guys know how much i love loafers loafers has been my go-to shoe for the year in 2023 so the loafer from louis vuitton that i have my eye on for i want to say maybe like the last four months of the year and it's the one called boo borg i believe that's how you say boo borg so i tried going to the luxury store that is local to me to try the shoe on but every time i go i, I always go too late and they're already closed but then i also checked online so it was all sold out especially in the size that i think i am i want to go in store to try it on to make sure i have the right size before i actually purchase it but that's on my list i just love the monogram print i love the two-tone effect i'm not sure if it's dark brown or black but i love that and the white treading it's just perfect for every day to elevate a look and i know that will be an item that i will have in my collection for a very long time because i love wearing loafers i love that i love the price point on it and i that's actually something i wanted for christmas but like i said it was sold out so the next louis vuitton item that i want is the loop bag now this bag has been out for a few years now and i've just been i haven't seen it in store like the stores that i've been to like i said i've went to the store a couple times just to see you know what they have what it, <laughs> The times that I went was too late, so I probably need to organize a time where I go early in the day and not like after work. I, I want to actually see the bag and see how small it is before making that purchase, but I just love the shape of it. I have the Pochette Matisse, and that's like a perfect everyday bag, perfect for work. It does lean on the more mature side, and though I'm getting to the big age that I am getting this year, I still want to have a little bit youthfulness to me uh, when it comes to like the pieces that I purchase. So I feel like the loop bag will be perfect for like, you know, going shopping, just a very casual, like easy going but edgy bag for my collection. And I love the shape of it. I love just everything about the bag, really. So I want to see how it looks on me in person before you know making the the decision to pull the trigger and the next item that i had on my list is from ysl and i had the 5a7 bag but as you guys seen i just recently got a um, bag for christmas and that bag is to me is the perfect first purchase like if you if you're ever considering a bag to purchase for the first time i would definitely recommend that bag and that's the kate small from saint laurent it's the perfect it's so versatile and i love it so i had this bag on my list before receiving that one so i i'm not sure if i'm going to keep this on but I still do like that 5A7 bag. I may consider like the color cream or I may consider getting it in the patent black. So it's still on, but it's not a must if I, you know, don't. The next item that I have on my wish list is from Gucci and it's these slippers. Now I am so mad at myself because I was about to purchase these slippers uh, last i want to say late august this last year and now like the sizes are like i can't find the size i haven't looked in the last month or so but the last time i looked my size was not available so there's that 
but it does give like a Birkenstock type look. And if you guys know me, I love a Birkenstock type slipper. They're super comfortable in my opinion. <laughs> um, but this Gucci horse bit slipper is just perfect. I still also need to try it on when it comes to shoes, luxury shoes. I think it's very important to try them on in store if you can because sometimes the return process could take a little bit long, at least from what I have experienced. Okay, so the next few items that are on my list is from Celine. And I don't have anything from this brand and every now and again I will go on their site and I will just scroll and just look at the things that they have. Um, I have been interested on their sun in their sunglasses, but I haven't really seen anything that really made me want to purchase, like style of sunglasses that is. But what I have been considering is their belts. I love the Celine Triumph belt. And though I do have like one designer belt, I have it right here because I was just looking at it. I am considering selling it because I don't really grab for it. And I want to say it's because of the logo. It's giving loud and I think I like the Celine logo better. I just feel like it would easily elevate and I feel like I would get more wear out of that belt than this one just because the logo is just not as out there even though the buckle is like thicker. I don't know. Yeah <laughs> so that's that. The next thing that I want to get from uh, Celine is hats. I love their bucket hats. I love their dad caps. I'm more so looking at their dad cap with like the Celine emblem, the logo. There's one that is new. It's in like a taupe brown color and I don't have anything like that. I have a lot of black hats so I don't want to get like the black dad cap that has a Celine across even though it's very popular and I would love to. I'm more so looking to get the taupe ones but we'll, we'll see. We'll see how or what I decide when the time comes. The next item, I'll just go right into the perfume category. So this year I want to not buy as many perfumes. I think my collection is good for now uh, for where it's at. As it pertains to like designer or luxury fragrances or niche fragrances, I wanna try the Beyonce fragrance, the Say Noir. I've been getting, I've read and seen a lot of mixed reviews about it, but I think this is an exception to like doing like a blind purchase as it pertains to fragrance. So I want to get the Say Noir. The next fragrance that I want to purchase or even try is from Celine. I love the notes in these. Um, there is a Celine store that is local to me as well at the Tyson's Galleria. They do have a luxury store. I'm not sure if they sell fragrances, but I will like to at least test it out and see how it smells and see if I would like to purchase it and go from there. I think that would be the perfect like birthday fragrance for me, but I need to try it out first. And the next category is jewelry. I don't have a particular brand in mine. I just know that I want to add a few quality pieces. Like I'm done with the Amazon purchases. Like I, I see myself wasting money. I would buy these things and something would fall off or I'd wear it and it would turn. So I, I, I don't want to do that anymore. So I'm done with that. So I'm going to save my little coin and buy me some quality pieces don't have to be fine jewelry they don't have to be super expensive i just need them to be quality something that's not going to tarnish it's not going to turn it's not going to give me a rash like i don't want any of that so i'm more so looking for like dainty necklaces and not too many i just need maybe one or two that i can wear like every day maybe like some bracelets and maybe one or two rings that's gonna like edgy up a look. This is only for like dressing pur purposes because usually on everyday, I'm not wearing a lot of jewelry as you can tell. I just wear like my earrings that I been wearing for quite some time. These are from Dior and every now and again, I would like put a, a, a necklace on and that's it. I don't do too much. So the next item that is on my wish list is the Mason Margiela Distressed Denim. 
and that's in the color cream like you guys know i have like two pairs of mason margiela denim and i just love their denim it's just high quality i have the blue denim one and i have like the contrast um denim pants which i've been wearing a lot this fall and winter it's, it's just so 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 good it fits perfectly i really wanted to get these uh the cream pair last summer but yeah we have to budget the the, the fun so <laughs> i always have a long list of things that i want and i always try to get the thing that i know i'm gonna mostly enjoy and though i knew i was gonna enjoy these jeans i opted for something else but I digress so these denims will be perfect for summer so i plan on wearing these denim with a lot of crop tops because i just love the proportion of the pants because they are super long and when you wear something short it just makes you look so much taller and i just love that even though i'm like five five and that's not super tall but imagine so now let's get into the black designer items and these are all woman owned brands first off is for me to label i want two pieces from this brand and the first one is i think she has a set where it's like pink and then it has like the green trimming um in both the skirt and the top so for me to label now has the black and white option with the white trimming around the top and bottom so i want to get that and then they all she also has this like super long maxi dress with the button details that goes all the way down the buttons look like crystals and it's just so 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 pretty so i want to get my hands on one of those i'm just not sure like where i would wear them which is why they're on the wish list hopefully i have more events to attend or we have some reason to celebrate and i could purchase the dress and that would justify the purchase the next black owned designer brand that i want to purchase from is andrea iana i think that's how you say it i've been eyeing this brand for a very long time it's just that i've only been interested in her swimwear and they're like almost always out of stock or sold out when I'm interested in purchasing. So I still have their swimmer that I'm interested um, on my list. So I'm hoping I can get one or two pieces from her when it comes to swimwear or maybe one. I'm going with just one piece, whether it's a two piece or a swimsuit, something of that sort. I also want to get my hands on her dresses. There's this one dress where I think it's adjustable on the sides so you can make it longer or shorter and it comes in two colors. I think there's like a mustard orangey color and then there's um, like an olive green color. The olive green color is the one that I have my eye on because I just really like how it looks and I think that would be perfect for my birthday so I may consider doing that if I could get my hands on my size, you know? All right, so we're like halfway through the list. Not very long, but not too short either. So if you are still sick with me, thank you so much. We are gonna get into the experiences. So for this year, I, I wanna do some traveling. I haven't done a lot of traveling in a while and I wanna do like three trips this year. So one, I want to do to somewhere tropical. I need, I need sand. I need the Caribbean sea. I need the good breeze. I need the vibes, right? <laughs> I need, I miss it. Like I'm a Caribbean girly. Of course, I'm going to go to a tropical island for my birthday, <laughs> like that type of thing. So that's on my list. It needs to happen this year for sure, for sure. And then I also want to do a family trip. We haven't done a family trip in a while. We have done road trips, but I mean like going on a plane, we have things planned. We have a destination that we all agreed to go to, like that type of family trip. So I want to do that this year. So that's on my wish list. I'm hoping that all goes well and we can get at least one trip in. And I also want to do a couple solo trips so just for me it could be traveling to another state it could be visiting a local it could be a staycation it could be going to a local hotel or it could be both <laughs> i just need to do something where i could 
enjoy for myself. On my wish list for 2024 is also to attend at least one New York Fashion Week. Now I know New York Fashion Week is around the corner in February. So that is kind of like out of the picture. I mean, it's still quite possible, you know, things can happen from now till then. So we'll see what happens. I just want to experience it, not go and just take pictures outside. I want to actually go to a show. I, I want to have the full experience and I just need to do it one time. I don't need to be going to all of the fashion shows or all of the New York fashion weeks. I just need to do one to say that I did it and I will be good. Fingers crossed for me guys. I, I'm, I love fashion. I love style and I feel like this would be a really, really good thing for me. I would love to experience it. Of course, I will vlog it so I can go back and watch it and, you know, relive the experience. But I just want to actually go there and do it. And in that same realm of going to New York Fashion Week, I want to do more networking events. I want to put myself out there a little bit more as it pertains to, like, my personal brand and just building um, great connections and having genuine connections as well as building like friendships. I, I've i been moving for quite some time these past, I want to say 10 years. I've been moving and haven't necessarily like settled in a place. So I'm now at this, the, this space where I do feel settled in the area where we live currently. So I feel more open to making like connections with people and I am but for the person I am I I am slow to trusting people I I like genuine people I like authentic people I like people being real and truthful and honest and loyal because that's a person I am and so I I take my time when it comes to learning people which I'm okay with but I don't want to have that wall up too much anymore I want to be open and accept people as they come. I don't want to go too much into it, but that's one of my, I guess this is a personal goal. That was a little bit vulnerable, but you guys get my point. I want to meet more people and make more um, quality connections. It's it's not it's not about quantity for me. I don't need a bunch of friends. That's, that's where I'm at at this point in my life, so. This is a thing, it's tangible, but it's also something I've been wanting for a long time and it's to have a puppy. I, the only reason why I don't have a puppy right now is because it's super expensive, which is why it's on a wish list. Why? <laughs> it is so expensive. Like the ones that I want, I want like a um, toy poodle, cover poo, like a small poodly dog that I can cuddle, take care of. Though the next thing, I don't know how well of a dog mom I will be, um, honestly, because I know it's a lot. But from what I've read and researched, small dogs are a little bit better to take care of because you don't have to take them on long walks outside. Um, they don't need a lot of activities. I don't mind that. I don't, I don't need to be walking you for hours multiple times a day, <laughs> right? So... I also want to be more consistent, especially with my long form videos. So you guys will be getting as much long form videos as possible for me this year so that we can get to that 10K goal. So that's another thing that's on my wish list to make it to 10K by the end of 2024. I know a lot of content creators don't like to share their goal up front, but at this point, I mean, why the heck not? You're watching, you should know what my goal is for the channel. So I wanna grow. The ultimate goal is of course 100K, but we're gonna take these in small bites, small pieces, and we will eventually get to 100K. I, I know that, my son knows it. He was like, mom, you're gonna get to 100K and you're gonna get your plaque and you're gonna be like one of those popular YouTubers. Like he said that to me. So if he can envision it for me, I can envision it for myself and you guys watching could see the process happen. So how about that? That is everything guys. Let me know if any of the things that are on my wish list is also on your wish list. You can share those below or you can share with me 
what is the one item that you have on your wish list that you know for sure that you're gonna get share that with me down below and let's continue the conversation all right so that is my 2024 wish list but i really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and remember to stay beautiful and i'll see you guys in the next one bye Thank you.